No kneeing or kicking when the both hands are on the ground. Your opponent's hands are on the ground. No strikes to the back of the head. No eye gouge, no hair pull, and no poking in the eye and no grabbing the cage. Don't drop your hands, otherwise you're gonna get knocked the f out. Well, it can vary from, my first one was four weeks. This one has been 10 weeks, so obviously the more I've done, the, the better you get. But yeah, my first one was four weeks and I just wasn't ready to be in there. My diet up, up to a fight is all meal preps, uh, all weighed out. My nutritionist gets in contact with me food prep company and he weighs all the food out just to make sure that I'm on point and on weight come fight night. Be fitter, faster, stronger than your opponent and put a right hand on his chin and then that's that's it, good night. I fight three fives or championship fights, UFC, Bellator or whatever is five fives. Full MMA fight lasts 15 minutes or 25 minutes. Some people are good with the hands, some people are good on the floor, some people are good at wrestling. So there's so many things to choose from. Like you can't you can't just pick a certain few. Like I say, jiu-jitsu kids will be so much better with jiu-jitsu than someone who's a stand-up. So yeah, there's so many moves that you could use or strike in that it's hard to pick one. MMA has totally changed me as a person. From someone who used to go out getting drunk is literally now dedicated to the gym. I'm a much stronger person, mentally and physically, and it gives you all a bit of self-control, like you don't lose your temper as much, and you can get all your aggression out in the gym. If I could suggest it to anyone, then definitely go for it.